Okay, on this particular video, we're going to take out a fraction. Some people don't like it, but we'll try it here. So let's take a look. Y equals, and we're going to start the same way, 1 over 50 here. We'll put a bracket, x squared plus something, x. The question is, what's 1 divided by 50, okay? Or what's 1 divided by 25 divided by negative 150? Okay, I'll put it in the calculator and I'll show you what you get. Okay, I know my answer is 2, but let's just take a look. Okay, so I'm going to go 1 divided by 25 here. Enter. That's 0 0.04 divided by bracket negative 1 divided by 50. Close the bracket. Negative 2. So it should be negative 2 here. Negative 2x. Okay, so again, let's take a look here. So you could have done it this way on the calculator. You could have done bracket 1 divided by 25. Okay, divided by bracket negative 1 over 50. and you get negative two. Now to show you how the fractions work, so uh, maybe I can do it on, on the side here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on another page here, and I'll show you how 125 is divided by 150. Okay, so one over 25 divided by okay, negative one over 50. So the opposite, one over 25, it's like times negative 50 over 1. So you reverse it. Okay, so if you learn dividing fractions, you reverse and multiply. And hopefully you learn that in grade 5 or somewhere in grade school would be my guess, 4, 5, 6. Now you multiply the tops. So 1 times that is negative 50. And 25 times 1 is 25. So negative 50 divided by 25 is negative 2. Okay, that's where that comes from, the negative 2 here. Or you can use the calculator like I showed. Now, you take the negative 2 divided by 2. So you take the negative 2 divided by 2, and you get negative 1. And then you square it, and you get 1. Okay, so we're going to plus and minus 1. So here, y equals negative 1 over 50, x squared minus 2x, plus 1, minus 1. Okay, now we're going to take the minus 1 out. So we'll go y equals negative 1 over 50. x squared minus 2x plus 1. We take the minus 1 out and we multiply by what's in the front, which is minus 150. Okay, I'll extend the page here. So y equals negative 1 over 50 in the bracket. So it's x minus 1 squared. You take the middle term divided by 2, or you square root that, sign of the middle. Now, negative 1 times negative 150, well, that becomes positive 150. My vertex, 1, comma, 1 over 50. Okay, next question. Okay, so now you got negative 1 15, 4 15, 11 15. Okay. So I know I have to take out a negative 1 over 15 out of here. And you get x squared. 4 15, so it's going to be negative because this one's a positive and you're taking a negative out. Four, if you're taking the bottom 15 out, you're just left with 4x. And this question should have had an x right in here. Okay, So there should be an x on your sheet. It might not be on mine. 4x and then over here plus 11 over 15. Okay, so now the 4 is here. So if it has the same bottom, just put it here. Okay, and then you get x squared minus 4x. Now we're going to take the 4 divided by 2 is 2 and square it. And so the y equals negative 1 15th. x squared minus 4x. We're going to add 4 and subtract 4. Plus 11 over 15. Okay, on the next one here. Remember the y equals negative 1 over 15. That's a negative here. Okay. 
x squared minus 4x plus 4. We're going to take the negative 4 out. But when we do, we have to multiply by 1 over 15. And over here, we got 11 over 15. Okay, so plus that 11, 15 here. Okay, so negative 4 times 1 is just 4. You only multiply the top. So when you multiply, this is like over 1. So like 1 times 15 and 4 times 1. So here you get y equals negative 1 over 15. Over here you get x minus 2 squared. And over here you get plus, because it's 2 negatives, 4 fifteenths plus 1 11 fifteenths. When you add fractions, you add the tops. So y equals negative 1 over 15 x minus 2 squared plus 4 plus 11 is 15 over 15. 15 divided by 15, so you add the tops here, so you get 15 over 15, then 15 divided by 15 is 1. So for this particular case, y equals negative 1 over 15, x minus 2 squared plus 1, and my vertex becomes 2 comma 1. Okay, then I'd like you now to complete the rest of the worksheet.